Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Global Mobile Archive. I am your host, Michael K. Jordan. In today's news, scattered Reddit posts claim that three upcoming gotchas may not be so upcoming anymore. Let's discuss, shall we? So for our first topic today, we're going to talk about Sinnoh Alice and what had happened with that, in case you're not familiar. So Sinnoh Alice was a gacha game where the majority of gacha came from the weapons and the roles that you got with one of the best PvP systems that I have ever seen, though I am not supposed to give my opinion. Now, Sinnoh Alice was having a meteoric rise across the seas, but when it came to coming to global, well, things started getting a little bit shady, and that is largely accredited to when Nexon was confirmed to be the publisher of the global global brand which rubbed people uh, very poorly but what happened even more that rubbed uh, people even more poorly was everybody was extremely excited for the launch including myself we were all in discord chatting up over 4,000 active chatters in the uh, Sinnoh Alice discord as the uh, game was about to launch about two days in advance everybody was excited and two days before the actual launch it was canceled or as some people are still believing postponed so it was quite a mess now the reason that a lot of people are still believing that it may come is because well it was announced and never officially canceled but what had actually happened was is that as nexon took over as the publisher for Sinnoh Alice, the specific branch in case you're not familiar um every company has separate branches uh, that take over specific games, okay? At least as the companies get bigger and bigger and bigger, they have separate sub-branches that take over a game. The branch that was directly responsible for Sinnoh Alice was shut down. Now that is very, very, very bad. And let me tell you, they have not commented it on Facebook, Twitter, or their Discord on when a new release is coming. Now let me weigh in on what I feel is happening right now. So as far as everybody else knows, it's not coming anymore because nobody has, nobody else has told us otherwise. You know, they can say the coming soon as many times as they want, but nobody has said otherwise that don't worry, it's coming on this date, right? There is no set release date. I personally, I also don't believe that it will be coming to the global servers anytime soon because here's why the hype was absolutely obliterated. I mean, Nexon pulling that kind of garbage is extremely shady and underhanded. It rubbed so many people the wrong way. So even if even if the game were to actually get a concrete release date, it would have nowhere near the amount of momentum that it once had. Sure, maybe, maybe there's a miracle and people would forgive Nexon for what they did. Maybe even Sinnoh Alice's original publishers will hire a new publisher for the global branding, but in my opinion, that's not very likely. I don't want to get my hopes up anymore. If it does come out, dope. Will I be shocked? Yeah, of course. But if it comes out, sweet. I'm still going to play it, but I do feel the majority of hype was killed. Now for our next topic is quite the yikes one because we're going to be talking about World Flipper. And yes, I did recently just make a video saying that that game would be upcoming to Global in 2019 and 2020. Well, sometimes shit happens and for World Flipper that is definitely the case. So to catch you up what has happened with World Flipper that has been so drastic that it might not even be coming to Global, let me catch you up on it. So there was a rate up banner for a new unit that fits into a win team okay and the win team was the most broken busted infinite combo type of team uh in the entire game like the top 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 tier so when the game decided to release a new unit that would fit for that team and make it even more insane well it comes to a point where a unit does not become optional it becomes required in a lot of players minds so a lot of people spend thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars to get that unit and then two days later they nerfed the weapon that made it all possible essentially making the unit pointless now players we're not too happy about that and then you know justifiably so i mean that's a lot of wasted money and honestly it's just a very scummy underhanded type thing uh see summoner's war uh boomerang and chakram dancers to, to see something of equivalent value as far as community outrage so what did the community decide to do now this is the thing that i really want to talk about what did the community decide to do they decided to go on to their global app market store and spam them with one stars where world flipper was one of the most positively reviewed games of all time i believe it had a 4.9 out of 5 star which is nearly perfect it now has somewhere around a 2.8 which by the way is absolutely dreadful now i want to talk about that for many reasons okay so first thing you should never release a unit in a game 
and then nerf it so quickly right after. When you release a broken unit, unless it's completely shattering the game, you can't just break it. You can't make it unusable. You can make it not OP, busted, broken, but you can't make it unusable. And the nerf pretty much made it unusable. The other thing is, is how much power the community now has for mobile games. And I'm really, really, really happy about this, but I'm also a little bit worried because this is going to make devs extremely nervous for change and nervous for change means less updates because people are going to be worried about what they're putting out in the game. So let's talk about what I'm talking about here. When the community spams a one star post on a mobile game, when they're trying to bring it over to global, there's two big things that you need, and that is proof of interest and a proof of purchase. And basically what that means is, is that you need to see that the audience is going to be there for it. And then you also need to see that the audience is willing to pay for it, right? Because there's no sense of bringing in a, a game to somewhere where nobody's going to play it and nobody's going to spend money on it. There's, there's no reason to have a completely free-to-play game because what does bringing a free-to-play game over to the global do if nobody's going to spend money on it? So now <laughs> that the proof of interest is at a uh, all-time low because people aren't going to see that in the top 100 rankings anymore. And when you leave the top 100 rankings for mobile games, that is very bad because when you're in the top 100, people can see you so much easier. But if you're not in the top 100, you, you don't exist. So... Pretty much, the community has more power than ever, and you can also see this in a similar fiasco as far as Epic 7. If you want me to report on the Epic 7 fiasco, I'm more than happy to. But with the community having more power than ever for mobile games, it is going to be a lot scarier than ever for devs, but honestly, I'm going to say that's a good thing. Mobile games and gacha games have been dicking over the community for so long. They are so money hungry and generally there's been no punishment whatsoever. But now that people are actually going to rally behind poor decisions that the company makes and then obliterate them for it, I generally think it's a good thing. So while, while World Flipper may not be coming to global anymore due to these circumstances, I really hope this sparks a revolution amongst gacha and mobile game players as a whole and to stop dealing with these companies' bullshit and fight back. Now, for our last topic, we're going to be talking about another one of the most anticipated titles for the mobile gacha and hero collector genre as a whole. We're going to be talking about Princess Connect. Princess Connect is, once again, hero collector RPG. Looks dope. Kawaii anime desu graphics. It looks beautiful. It plays beautiful. It's a great game. Now, the unfortunate part is, is there's two big things that are leading people to not believe that an English patch or an English release is coming anytime soon or at all. Now, the, the first big reason for this is that the developer or publisher is Psy Games, okay? And Psy Games, once again, is also uh, responsible for World Flipper. So now they have to deal with the absolute shitstorm that is going on with World Flipper, which is going to be a pain. Now, Psy Games isn't as big as, you know, a company, say, Nexon, but they don't really have that much, you know, extra developers to just, you know, toss out and get another game coming to global as soon as possible, right? So... That is the first big thing. Because of World Flipper's giant fiasco, people are becoming skeptical of if they're going to be able to deal with that in order to get Princess Connect out to global as well. The other big thing is Princess Connect is not a brand spanking new title. No, it's been out on the market for quite some time, over a year. And the majority of Psy Games' titles that have actually come over to the global servers, they are always released within the first year, generally within the first six months. So that is making people incredibly nervous on whether this game is coming to the global servers or not. Now, I'm going to weigh in on this, and I am going to say I don't think that there is too much cause for concern for Princess Connect's global validity. The proof of purchase is there. The proof of interest in there. The game is amazing. Everybody wants this shit. I know they're having to deal with World Flipper, but hey, get Princess Connect out get some more money, use that money to fix your World Flipper fiasco garbage, good to go. I, I don't think that drama with one game would actually negatively affect for a new game to come to global. I personally would think that would actually increase the chances of it coming to global because, hey, this one failed. Okay, we know that's fucked. Let's get this new one. So, that's just my take. Anywho, uh, hey, this was my first little news video. <laughs> Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this was fun. Will I do it again? I don't know. Why did I make this? For fun. Haven't made a video in a couple days. I want to make another one. And I got this cheap ass, cheap ass suit coat that I hope you like from Goodwill. Do I look good? I don't feel good. It was incredibly tight. Wanted to button it. I can't. Anywho, uh, let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe.
For real. Comment. What do you think these games are coming to global or not? Personally, I'm on the fence about Cinewells and World Flipper and uh, the side of the fence. Let me that. I'm on the side of the fence where they're not coming. Uh, but for Princess Connect, uh, it's it's a fifty fifty. It's fifty fifty. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. I've been Tecto and y'all been great. Hope you're having a damn good one. And as always, peace. <laughs>